Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing today? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here, coming at you live with another video. Why do immigrants leave Canada? I'm going to answer this question for you. Why do they leave? Why do they leave Canada at all? Spending years and so much money to get to Canada and then leaving. Why would they do that? So in this video, I'll give you 10 reasons why immigrants decide to leave Canada. Reason number one, guys, loneliness and family disconnect. Coming to Canada, those guys who immigrate here alone before they can bring their family, they feel disconnected, they feel lonely sometimes because they have to leave their family at home, their children, their parents, sometimes even their spouse before they can get them sponsored to Canada. And also, more importantly, you get to leave all of your friends back home. Now, coming to a foreign country where you literally do not know anyone can be extremely difficult. Ooh. Reason number two, financial difficulties. Not everyone in Canada gets rich. Don't get me wrong, it's an amazing country to be in, but it's not easy to accum accumulate wealth in this country. It is difficult. You have to spend so much money, so much taxes. It's difficult to get the correct job that makes you enough money. If you think you can come to Canada and accumulate wealth really fast, it's a big misconception. You have to work a lot to get something. And some people just cannot, cannot handle it. It's too difficult for them. That's why they start considering to leave country and some people leave it, especially if you're coming from one of those countries like mine, for example, where it is culturally incorrect to file bankruptcy. Those people start taking credits. They start spending more money than they earn. They take a loan for the house, they take a loan for the car, and then something happens. They lose a job or whatever. They have much credit card bills to pay and they cannot pay it off. And for some people, it can be extremely difficult to bear depressing and shameful that they are not able to pay for their bills. And instead of filing for bankruptcy, they just decide to leave the country completely just give away whatever they have and go back home i just want to remind you guys do not get depressed this country is still a country of opportunities i'm just talking a little bit about the smallest portion of people who decide to give up not every immigrant gives up and there are lots of successful people who accumulate insane amount of money just because they moved to canada Reason number three, guys, is not willingness to start all over. So if you come to Canada and you were at your home country, a VP of sales, director of operations, senior manager, regardless of who you were, even if you held the president on the elections in your country, it does not mean anything here because your experience literally does not count much here, guys. So what I'm trying to say is some people who are coming to Canada, they expect to get all of that here right away. And of course, reap all the benefits of being on that position in Canada, which is of course, way more fruitful. You get way more profits out of it. It's way more money. It's way better than in our home countries where we come from. All I'm saying, guys, you don't get discouraged right away, but many people do, and they just cannot handle it. it get, they get depressed because they are saying, well, I was, this, I was this big man. I would come out of my car. They would lay out a red carpet for me to walk in, and I come here, and you, you know, I'm washing, the, I'm washing cars or filling tanks or, I don't know, washing windows, doing cleaning jobs. Just people don't understand that they would have to start from from the beginning here to build their life up and some people just don't want to do that they come here and then they're like getting depressed and that's another reason why some immigrants just give up and they just go back home reason number four guys is real estate prices oh it's a huge topic guys it's a huge one real estate in Canada can be millions of dollars if you go to Toronto if you go to Vancouver it's crazy there there are houses two million dollars there are some houses two million three four million dollars in Calgary too but in different cities especially big ones sometimes for example in Toronto you can work your entire life making whatever money you're making and you're not able to buy a house so that's another thing in Canada people are coming here and they're like well I came to a new place and I can't afford buying a house and it is difficult for Canadians as well it's not just the immigrants but some immigrants just give up they're like well I came to a country so I can buy a house raise a family and be a successful person and then I come here I cannot afford anything regardless of how many years I work I spend the same amount of money it's also considered to be a financial difficulties but all I'm saying in Toronto lots of my friends who came to Canada because of the real estate prices in Calgary you can still afford the house in Toronto they went so much high that most of my friends are just renting they don't want to buy anything because they would not be able to afford it and banks are not going to give that money because it's so expensive they won't be able to afford it reason number five guys all the Russians in the house all Ukrainian Slavic people will understand me better than anyone guys political correctness different mentality you know they this kind of thing you cannot even joke properly at your workplace you're going to end up in human resource office you know so there is a different mentality in Canada you 
Canadians speak in a such a way that they wouldn't offend anyone when they're commenting on something. There is such thing as like there is a censorship here on the way on what you can say and things you cannot. So whatever you used to say in your home country can be totally unacceptable in Canada. And for example, anyone who is from Eastern Europe, like my, my, myself, if you want to come and say to someone, man, I don't like that person, or you can come and say something, oh, that's a um, woman driver, for example. You know the, how, how much trouble it can get you in Canada if you say something like that, which is totally okay in Ukraine. And it's totally different mentality. Sometimes people coming here to Canada think that the Canadians are kind of fake. They're trying not to say what they think. And this kind of different mentality mentality of the way how the things are done, what you can say, what you cannot say, how you behave and all these kind of small things. If you were raised in one culture, one single culture where you're used to one thing and then you come here and it's totally different, for some people just sometimes it's difficult to bear with it. Okay guys, I'll stop right here because I'm, I might say something politically incorrect. I want to say that culture here is very open-minded and it's difficult for some immigrants when they're coming here to be that much open-minded because some people are raised in more traditional old style cultures where people are not that much Western okay that's what I'm saying depending on which country you're coming from you might face the same difficulties because you see something that you in your country it's considered to be wrong but here it's considered to be right and if you say something about it you might be wrong for so for some people it's just difficult to digest all this open-mindedness at once once they immigrate and that can get a person depressed Reason number six, guys, is medicine. Medicine, medicine, medicine. Okay, as you might think, Canada has some free medicine, right? But prescription medicine, you have to pay for it. Dentists are complete ripoff. It's cheaper for you to fly back home and do all of your mouth, all of your teeth, than having one dentist look up in this country sometimes. No, I'm not joking, guys. You can actually go fly back home. I can fly back to Ukraine, see my family, visit a dentist, and come back to Canada for the same price as I would just visit a dentist in Canada. One more problem is the medicine here is that doctors they don't care it's like a manufacturing machine you go to see a doctor they charge money now of course in Canada medicine is free so they charge the government basically you're paying the taxes anyways it's considered to be like they charge you guys and what they do is you see a doctor for literally 10 minutes doctor just goes from room to room to room to room and collects hundred 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 two hundred dollars from each room every 10 minutes and all you got to talk is the nurse so unless you're really sick they are not doing anything here so basically you go to a doctor and they're saying you're fine that's it you you go again, you're fine. Well, I know I'm not fine. You, you know you know there is a preventive medicine. So I don't see, see any preventive medicine in Canada. Unless you're dying, that's when they start acting. And if you are still fine on a stage where you're not yet that much sick, you're fine. And that's what can be really surprising for you. And it's surprising for me because doctors here are like, they don't care. They just care to get the money. And once they get it, they don't care. Reason number seven, guys. That's why my Russian friend left Canada. Man, he was surprised. He went back to Moscow. He makes less money in Moscow, but he doesn't want to go back to Canada. Why did he do that? Well, cultural difference. The main thing is, for example, if you're a European like myself, probably you're used to go to opera theaters and, I don't know, nightclubbing and this kind of things. Well, in Canada, nightclubs, I want to say, I don't want to say they suck, but they do suck. Canadian nightclub, nightlife is not as good, it's not as fancy as probably in your or my country. So, guys, it can be surprising. If you like lots of museums, cultures, there are museums in Canada and bigger cities, but if you're living in a smaller city where they don't have those facilities, it can be really depressing to be in a different lifestyle that you are used to. For example, you used to go hang out with your friends, going to insane nightclubbing, going to a cinema. All right, cinemas are here, but for example, if you go to an opera or theater just to see acting and those kind of things that Canada doesn't have enough of them and you're just used to that kind of lifestyle back home in Europe <laughs> well then then some people are just there saying oh screw it like I cannot have what I want in this country different culture guys it can be difficult reason number eight guys it's kids raising kids in Canada is totally different from what you're used to <laughs> doing back home guys kids in Canada they can tell you whatever they want I have seen kids in school here they are ruthless they're insane I don't want to swear here guys they are insane they can tell to the teacher to go and ask themselves they can go and say whatever the hell they want if you if you say something stupid the kids can come to you and say you stupid they're just like that it's freaking insane you know what happens in Ukraine if you go to an adult and you come and say to this face you stupid <laughs> there will be whew, smack on your face right away and you flying upside down that's what's going to happen in Ukraine so kids is a problem here and also some immigrants coming here they are worried for their kids going to this 
this kind of school, having this kind of mentality, not having any kind of responsibilities and being protected by the government, you cannot raise the kids in the way that you were raised. You cannot raise the kids in a traditional way that you are used to in your country and that's how people are doing it in your country, those responsibilities, because the child services are going to go after you. So some people are like, you know what, I don't want to be, I don't want my kid to be like that, you know, I don't want my kid to be totally spoiled and do whatever the hell he or she wants, that person needs needs a lesson and that's how you are going to be successful in life, yeah, right? So that's kind of a mentality for many of the immigrants and they come here and the kids are running around the supermarket destroying destroying the place, destroying the crown and the parents are like, oh please stop, oh please stop, you try to do that with my mom in Ukraine or my dad, you know, my 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 butt would be flying all over the supermarket if it, if it happened. I had a chance where my dad was chasing me around the supermarket in Qatar, it was freaking insane, people are looking, I'm like that chubby little guy running around and my dad is chasing me with the cart. <laughs> Oh, that's my childhood. In Canada, you do like that, cops are going to go after you. And if you tell it to a Canadian how you were raised in your home country, they'll say, Oh my God! Oh my God! Really? Did that happen to you? Oh my God! <laughs> Reason number nine, guys, is weather, of course. Okay, if you're in Calgary like myself, it's it gets minus 30, minus 45 here. It's really dry, so your skin on the lips is always dry. Your legs are cracking because of the dry conditions, because of the atmosphere, and it's freaking cold in winter. The temperature can drop 30, 40 degrees in one hour sometimes because of the Chinook attack that I mentioned in one of my videos. I'll pop it up somewhere here if I find it. Guys, it's crazy. The weather is here is crazy. It, it's cold in winter, and it's uh, not that hot in summer in Calgary for example and if you go back to Ontario the humidity in Ontario is just going to eat you up guys it's so freaking humid there so when it's minus 20 and yeah you, you would think it's it's not as cold as in here but it's humid so humid air is minus 20 freaking just go through your clothes it just penetrates you inside out and you just freaking freeze there unless you're dressed properly with the wind and everything and also in the summer when it's very humid and it's plus 35 like it's it's just you know it's just it's so freaking so hot so it's insane and yeah guys some people cannot tolerate this kind of weather changes some people cannot go to such northern countries some people who are coming from tropical countries for example somewhere closer to equator those guys are like what the hell is wrong with this country I know people who are saying well, in India, I didn't have to wear, like, I just wear flip-flops and I wear my t-shirt, I wear my shorts and I go to a supermarket. Here, you have to check the temperature outside, here you have to check what's the weather forecast, then you d decide what you take with you, and also sometimes you have to have an umbrella with you just in case, because it might change in any moment, uh, especially if you live in Calgary. You come out from home when it's plus 20 and you go home when it is plus 5. And the reason number 10, guys, is high expectations. Some people come into Canada, they have higher expectations than the reality. They look at the YouTube videos, they look at the praise, most of my videos where I praise Canada and they create such an expectation that are not even real, so they are not being realistic. They're like, I'll come to Canada, I'll make a lot of money, I'll raise a great family, I'll get a job right away, I'll buy an expensive house, I'll buy an expensive car, all of this together guys, and then all of a sudden everything changes because expectations were higher than the reality. So you basically start thinking that it's heaven on earth, which by the way I think it is guys, but you come here and you realize how difficult it is to succeed here to work to achieve something and then people's expectations versus reality they don't meet and that's why people are like you know what I'm giving up I'm going back so higher expectations are another reason for depression well guys it's not that bad I just wanted to give you an idea so you you understand a little bit inside information because some people they do leave this country they do leave and what what you're gonna do guys they come here and then they get depressed because of the expectations because of all of these things. Not everyone is living though. There is at least a million ways to succeed here and it is a beautiful country. I think it's the best country to live and raise your kids, get a job. You can really be really 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 successful. You just have to be willing to change. You just have to be willing to adapt and accept the current culture. Just understand more of the people here and you're going to succeed and also be patient guys just be patient you come to a new culture try to understand it more try to learn it more try to accept it more don't stick to your one community reach out and meet and, and make as many as possible Canadian friends who can show you around and then you are going to start to see things that where you were wrong with your thinking and why I'm saying you guys is because I was wrong when I came here with many things and when I realized it that's when I started understanding how awesome this country is and that I was actually wrong in my way of thinking and my misconceptions my stereotypes to Western people they faded away because I realized how cultures are pretty much similar and that the way the Canadians are doing with 
the kids and the cultural and diversity and the open-mindedness how it helps out the society and the root cause analysis of it I embraced it and that's why I became happy in this country and I'm not planning to leave it anyways guys thank you so much for watching make sure you comment in the dis under this video guys under this video and we will see you next video as well of course hit the like button if you think this information was helpful and if you're planning to come to Canada make sure you comment and if you see me one day in Canada just wave to me and say hi Igor I saw you on YouTube alright guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you in next video have a good one